here to answer your questions live on the air is life coach Juliana Lydon, and the topic is taking a digital detox. So our first one comes from Marion Gilbert. She says, I feel like I'm addicted to Instagram. Once I start scrolling, I can't stop, and the next thing I know, I'm running late for work. What can I do to help? I totally can relate to this. <laughs> yes. yes. You get lost. It's a hole. You do. You, you and totally the, time is, the, the time doesn't stop. That's right. So we talked a little bit about this in the segment. I recommend setting an alarm. It works for me. Yes. So you've got everything done. You're running around in the morning. You're like, okay, I got 15 minutes. What can I do? Well, I want to yeah. kind of peruse and mess around a little bit. I'm going to set an alarm. And mm -hmm. really, it can help so much. Yeah. Otherwise, there are apps you can get to put on your phone to regulate your time. Oh, okay, yeah. There. But those are pretty strict. Right, so. right. You have to be ready for it. The alarm has become my best friend lately. Okay, yep. Tina from Surprise says, I hear people say, just delete the app, but I feel like I'll be missing out. How do I prevent that? That's legitimate, yeah. I don't think you have to delete it. I mean, if yeah. you really have a problem and it's That's really, like cold turkey. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> start all over again yeah. and all that. I mean, I think there's so many ways you can regulate yourself. Mm -hmm. This also goes back to, okay, how am I going to, you know, hold myself accountable? Right, right. right. So we don't necessarily have to do that. There Moderation. Get around it. Put yeah. the rubber band on. Put the rubber band. <laughs> put a put an alarm on it. All right. right. Susie from Phoenix says, how do I get my kids to quit wasting so much time on social media? Great question. This is boundaries. And as parents, we need to come in there and, and really start setting that. We really need to watch how much our kids are, are on social media. We've talked about this yes. before. It can really be a problem and yeah. it can cause a lot of issues with your kids. So this goes back to really monitor and set those boundaries, mm -hmm. be very clear. Because it, it can be an addiction. Absolutely. Easily. We yeah. all know as adults, right? Yeah, a little exactly. bit of that. Right? Oh yeah, guilty, yeah. <laughs> Gail from Mesa says, at what age should kids, if at all, have social media accounts? That's a good question. Yeah, we can go on for a while on this one. Yeah. I recommend in my practice, mm -hmm. I tell parents, starting maybe in eighth grade, um, mm -hmm. just because you're giving them practice, you're giving them so you can kind of watch out before they go into high school. Because uh -huh. you know they're going to probably be doing it by then. Right. So eighth grade is kind of the test year. Okay. And you, you can monitor how they're doing it and yeah. talk about it and what are you gonna post and what's this look like? And okay. it's a good it's a good time to do the testing. And test do, you, run. do you do a recommendation on like which one, because you know, there's Facebook, there's, I don't know, Snapchat, so Instagram, I, like. Well, I think with the kids, it's probably Instagram. That's okay. the one that I found is pretty, yeah. the, the most popular. Okay. Again, that changes, so yeah. you, you'll find out because you'll be in the know right. with your kids and, okay. and they'll let you know. <sighs> <laughs> Big breath. All right. Jan from Glendale says, I use social media to keep up with family and friends. How can I still keep up with everyone if I don't use social media? Oh, that's good. Well, we can, the old fashioned way, you can always call. But you can. Calling? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Remember when we had the cords? Yeah. We were talking about that. The phones were punching in the phone cord. number. Right, right yeah. exactly. <laughs> but you know what? This may sound silly, but you can use Skype and get a whole bunch of people on. You can oh. schedule a Zoom call yeah. so you're still seeing them. Okay. Um, you you know, FaceTime if it's one-on-one, -on -one, right, but right. there are ways to do it. You, okay. You, know, you yeah. don't have to. Old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned. That's always the best. <laughs> hey, Juliana, thank you so much. And you know what? I want to thank our viewers, too, real quick, yes. because not only did we get great viewer questions, oh, but so many people raved about seeing Dave Muncie back on the Wasn't weather it, wall. That was Wasn't so, so great, great to see him. I loved his jacket. He is so good. What a pro. I know. I, so I want him to do it again. Come back <laughs> and do it again, Dave.